Hey, that's the uncle that owns the shop at the end of the street. I wonder what's over there. Good morning, Bangalore. I'll be your host and driver, G. Scott Alby. Thanks for tuning in today. Things have been pretty exciting on the home front. Not so much in like things to see to show you guys. Just in general, there's a lot of activity happening. I'm going to be changing jobs soon. And that's always exciting. It also means that um, this commute that we've done the last few shows is uh, going away. I mean, I guess I could go back over to that office to say hi to people, but I won't be doing this nearly as regularly. Good news, well, that means we're going to see different things, maybe just not as frequently. Woo, had to stand for that one. <laughs> It also means, these changes also mean that I'm going to be traveling. I'll have to head back to the United States to get a new visa. And sadly, they will not let me bring my motorcycle on the airplane. But I'm sure we'll be able to capture something really cool while we're there. Some interesting photography. We'll make something, we'll make something cool out of it. That's for sure. There we go. Piece of cake. I was mentioning L boards the other day. Here's a perfect example of one of those L boards. It means this person is learning how to drive. L board, go home. It's learning how to drive here must be a terrifying experience. Oh no, wait! It is. I know this for a fact. Sharon's mom is learning how to drive. She gets really excited when she meets somebody else who has an, who's had an accident with their car. She's like, yes, yes, even I bumped into something. High five. Well, this is the building that I took a 3D model of a scene with using some aerial photography. I'll stop here for a sec and hold that in frame. And then see if I can find the 3D model for you guys. Oh, these guys are welding. One day I drove, I had the drone with me and I drove off and I snuck over. Actually, there's some guy moving back near where I was. I just drove back there and hid behind some bushes and did a little bit of guerrilla flying. Flew the drone over this construction site. Hey, there's some guys up there. And then later used that footage to, uh, build a little 3D scene. Honestly, I need to do that more often. I just need to carry my drone with me and stop and do some guerrilla shooting. And by guerrilla shooting, I mean guerrilla with a U, not an O. Like, not hunting the great ape gorillas. And not shooting projectiles, shooting photos. Hey, there's a big Ganesha going up here. Well, part of him's still lit. I'll have to come by at night and see if we can capture it. That guy gave me some intense look. Fast enough. Shoot, I had it in manual. I don't know that I got it. Ah, oh, shit nuggets. I lost my lens cap here into the dirt. So let me just recover. I've got a little um, UV filter on here to protect the lens from dirt. 
this uh, this environment's kind of harsh. And if I scratch the end of the lens there, I can just replace the UV filter and not have to replace the entire lens. You'll notice when I pulled out my camera there, I commented that it was in manual mode. Whoa. Looks a little close. I like to photograph in manual mode, but I like to keep it in automatic focus. So if I have to pull it out right away, it's in autofocus, and I need to capture something like that scene back there. That gentleman was walking. I wanted him on the tracks. I didn't get him exactly where I wanted, but... But, but, we'll see how it turns out. We'll go back to that photo in a little bit. Cool. I love the use of color. People are not afraid of color here. That should be so cute. There we go. Stuff away. Gorilla photography. I love it. Well, thanks for another beautiful ride. Oh, nasty. That guy just spit and almost spit on me. All right, let's try that again. Thanks for another beautiful spit-free ride with me this morning. We'll have to do this again real soon. I'll go through and look at the photos that we took today. See if I'm ever, uh, it, I'll see if uh, any of them are worth posting. Stand up and over.